Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can tell by the attire that I have on, the Philadelphia Phillies and Major League Baseball is back. We can all rejoice. But this time a week ago, it looked like we weren't going to have this positive video that we're going to have today. But ladies and gentlemen, Major League Baseball is back. And today, with your boy, Ed Parcetto Philly, we're going to talk about the details behind the return of baseball, the much-anticipated return of baseball, why it took so long, get you prepared for what's to come in the next couple in the next month with the return of the MLB. Ladies and gentlemen, Major League Baseball is back and let's talk about it here. Let's get it. That is right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Again, I'm your boy at Barcelo Philly, the United of all things sports and culture here in the beautiful city of Philadelphia. And before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button for notifications, as well as sharing this video and this channel to help your boy out here. Yes, the topic of today's video is the return of Major League Baseball. Monday afternoon was the deadline that the Major League Baseball Players Association had to let the league know that they will accept the terms of the agreement to, uh, to start uh, this to, to start the 2020 Major League Baseball season. This was in, this was a big delay. It took a couple of months to get resolved, and finally. After much delegation and much doubt, even Rob Man Manford, the commissioner of Major League Baseball, said that the possibility of a baseball season this season was not likely. It is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. There are some things to note with the start of Major League Baseball that we all need to know, and we are going to go into it in full detail. First up, the ba Major League Baseball season will begin on July 23rd or July 24th. That date has not been official yet, but we do know that teams will report to quote unquote spring training, I guess we can call it summer training, uh, to prepare for the regular season. That that will happen on July 1st when all teams will report to action. So I misinformed myself where the spring training would be for these Major League Baseball teams. So unfortunately, with all the outbreaks that's been going on in both Florida, specifically Florida and Arizona, both the league and the player association agreed to finish the spring training in their respective cities. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be a sped up spring training for these teams. So it's going to be interesting to see how these teams respond to a not enough time to prepare for a 60 game season but of course as always safety is first for these players and as of right now i don't think this is official but as of right now it seems like teams will actually play their games in their home stadiums which i don't think is a good idea and i think that they will continue looking at that uh and baseball is trying to uh look into what is the best option of course the top priority here is safety uh, but also money is in play and schedule convenience is in play as well more importantly ladies and gentlemen is how the how major league baseball and the teams will you know control the covid 19 you know over the last couple over the last couple of days alone we've had 40 players and members of these major league baseball organizations have tested positive for the coronavirus so that already is a concern in its own the Major League Baseball did come out and say that they have a plan to a safety protocol, you can say, of keeping these players safe and continuously rigorous testing, making sure that there is no new cases of the coronavirus. The teams will play a 60 game season. Thank you, Lord. And they will play 40 games that will be in division games. That means 40 of the games that they will be playing will be played against the teams in their very own divisions. With the other 20 games that they will be played will be against the will be in interleague games. They will correspond with their geography so uh, so of course with our Philadelphia Phillies we will be playing against teams from the AL East for 20 games now of course the question is you know after a week ago when Rob Manfred seemed non confident that we would have a baseball season why all of a sudden this week we actually have a baseball season now we did see players tweet out that you know, they're ready they want to play and uh, of course you know what goes behind closed doors and negotiations may not come out you know in full detail yeah, but what it seemed like was the main issue was the amount of games these players were going to play. They weren't going to get the right compensation as far as money-wise 
to these players, which is a little ridiculous to note when some of these teams' worths have skyrocketed over the last 10 years. But luckily, thank God, somehow these teams and the, and the players agreed to the terms, and hopefully these players will be compensated again. But what's most important here is your your players. The players bring butts to seats, and in this case, they're bringing eyeballs to TVs. You need to take care of these guys, whether they're making sure that they are being safe with what's going on around the world with COVID-19, as well as making sure that they are being properly compensated here. They are putting their lives at risk here playing in this tournament so we can have a baseball season. So the players' happiness, you may say, and their well-being is at um, utmost importance. The roster structure will go as so. Teams on July 1st will, will report with 60 players on their roster. When it comes to opening day, the teams will then reduce down to 30 players. Two weeks after that, teams will go down to 28 players. And then three weeks after that, teams will have rosters of 26 players. And most importantly, the best part of this roster structure is there's going to be a DH on both leagues. Not anymore will we have the, the pitcher as the ninth batter. We can have the potential of a DH. And as a Phillies fan, we got you got to be chomping at the bit imagining what could happen if we can have a potential dh as that ninth batter Woof! it's gonna be fun to see joe girardi is gonna have a little bit of fun there this upcoming friday the 26th at 3 p.m teams will be allowed to make transition whether it be signing players that are free agents aka yasiel puig phillies please get that done <laughs> and teams will also be allowed to make some trades. This new trade deadline for this new 2020 season will end on August 31st. So teams will have it till August 31st to make some trades. And at that point, we'll be at the playoff push for the Major League Baseball season. There will also be a separate injury list. There will be, of course, the DL that we have all been accustomed to. As well, there will be a COVID-19 list. They will separate those who do have COVID-19 in a separate list. And a good side note for players who don't have a home right now, aka a team to play for, the MLB will have a little tiny league. It's two teams. They're all combined of they're all a combination of unsigned players that will be available. Um, these team, these two teams will be playing head to head, giving these players who are unsigned a work and staying in shape. If the teams, you know, get hurt with injuries or some of their players do get contract the COVID-19, then they will, will be able to sign these players so they can join their active roster. Now, of course, the good news is baseball is back. Yes, but why did it take so long? That's that's the crazy part. We know we're again we were a week a week ago. I was already thinking that there was no gonna be no baseball, and, and, and I got over the fact that I was not gonna be able to see Bryce Harper and, and this this new Joe Girardi led baseball team uh, into 2020. But luckily, we did have it. Um, I will have a, a video, you know, talking about what I feel this Phillies team can do in this this new uh, 60 game season. And it'll be a full preview talking about where the Phillies were at the end of last season and going into this season and how I believe they will fare in the 60 game season. Now, the best part about this is that there is 60 games. You know, we a lot of people, a lot of sports fans who aren't, you know, big into baseball like myself. I love the Phillies and I have an appreciation for baseball living in America. But, you know, baseball has died down over the last couple of seasons. And you can you can look at the World Series ratings. You can you can ask people who are around my age. Baseball has really fallen under the importance level for sports fans. So I believe with the 60 game season, with the attention spans us millennials have, this is going to be a absolute, no pun intended, home run for Major League Baseball. They will be able to keep the attention span of a lot of these young fans. And this also, you know, th this is no joke for the teams. You know, right off the bat, they gotta start fast because this, this there's not 162 games. This is 60 games. You can't afford any mistakes here because every single game is so much more important than than seasons past. But that is all I got for you guys today. Baseball is back, ladies and gentlemen. That is good news. In the comments below, let me know what you guys, your guys' thoughts on the return of Major League Baseball, the pros and the cons of the return here. Again, guys, stay tuned for my uh, coronavirus state of the union with the Philadelphia Phillies slash preview of the Philadelphia Phillies going into the return tournament. Again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. It really means a lot to me, but I could really use your guys' help. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button for notifications, as well as sharing this video and this channel to help your boy out. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your boy, El Parcero Philly. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Talk to you soon.